Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to your new crash course video. Uh, this time is going to be crash course in JavaScript. So let's get started. Um, so this is the first video of the crash course. So we're just going to see how we can uh, run the JavaScript from your local machine. Okay. So there are a couple of ways to run it. Uh, uh, using the browser we can run it or using a Node.js we can run it. Okay. But today we're going to make it simple. So we're going to run it using the browser. So which means if you go to any browser, right, and then you go to right click and then or if you press F12, you will see something called developer tools. So there actually in the console tab, uh, you can run any valid JavaScript line and it will execute. Okay. So this is like simply if you want to test a uh, quick line of code, you can try this. But the next way is actually uh, executing the uh, JavaScript. Uh, file from the html page so meaning that um, if you have any html page so basically uh, there are two ways we can do it one is uh, an inline script so so if you have just a script tag inside and then within the script tag we can run the javascript so if i say like uh, cons console log inside the script right so if i save this particular thing Okay, as you can see, we are getting the details here. Uh, why? Because when this whole page is loading, automatically the script also will be getting executed, and we are seeing this. Okay, uh, but it's good practice to separate the script with the HTML. So instead of doing this, uh, we can include a script with a source attribute, and you can point to the JavaScript file, and uh, that file can contain the HTML uh, uh, JavaScript. Okay. But here we no need to have that uh, script tag. Okay, we can just write the JavaScript directly. So something like this. Okay. Hi from main, right? So as you can see now, it's getting executed. Fine. So based on your convenience, yeah, you can uh, try to uh, uh, explore it. But now, as the first step of any programming language, let's learn about uh, data types and declarations, right? So JavaScript is a, <coughs> a dynamically typed language. So meaning that um, if I if I have a variable like uh, username is equals to Yusuf, then we should be able to access that uh, username. Okay. So as you can see, it still works. And uh, next line, say for example, I do something like this. Okay. Uh, then still. Is save you can see it's changing so the the data type of this particular variable is being determined dynamically okay so based on the value you are saying uh, it can be a string or it can be a number or it can be a boolean and so on uh, but when it's coming to declaration right so here what we declare is actually an anonymous declaration but actually inside that it got declared as using var keyword okay so there are three keywords using which we can declare a variable so called uh, uh, var let and uh, con not on okay. cons so var is kind of a traditional way to declare a variable but it has few problems to address that uh, we got let and const uh, in the year 2015 okay uh, so let's quickly understand uh, what is the difference between each <clears throat> when it comes to declaration so let's start with a small example so just to give an overview var if you declare anything with var right so it's, uh, it's available throw it everywhere okay and if you declare a variable using var instead of function then it's av available within the function everywhere okay let is called a block scope variable okay so what is block scope so let's understand um so i'm going to say say for example one if block okay so i'm saying if true which means obviously it will execute okay so inside that i'm declaring a uh, variable x is equals to 5 okay and then outside i'm just going to console log that x so if you just execute this right we get the value 5 so how does this happen so the javascript will run the code line by line so if it comes like that so it says if true so which means it will execute and it uh, like declares a variable for x using var and then assigns the value since it's a var right so automatically these values available outside the uh, this block also so this is we call it as a block okay uh, opening open curly base and close curly base okay so if at all i change this to let and then save then what we see here x is not defined so when at this line of code right the line number seven uh, we are trying to access x but 
it doesn't find any declaration for x because the x was declared inside the block so that declaration is only available within the block not so it is not available outside okay so that is called the block scope uh, so if we declare this with the const also it also comes with the block scope okay so we will not uh, see anything but so if you see here uh, let it be let no problem so here if you should let x is equals to 10 then we are seeing the value 10 coming here because this x is totally different from this x okay so this x having the scope of this particular block alone but this x has a scope like the outside so that's why it's not clashing it okay and one more thing uh, what you should know it uh, once you declare a variable with uh, x right uh, actually you can reassign the value something like this so then if you save so we get 15 because declared with 10 and uh, we changed with 15 so that 15 is available here but if you try to declare again with the let right so it will not work because you can use the keyword let to declare a variable only one time okay then you can change the value directly something like this but you cannot redeclare it okay that is also one of the feature fine uh, so now we just understood about var and let so let's try to understand about const okay so for const right as the word says it's const okay so const say for example uh, name is equals to so something like that okay then if i declare sorry if i uh, if i print it will work not a big deal but if i try to change that to okay something like this then we get error that the assignment to a constant okay um, is not possible okay so we cannot reassign the value uh, to the constant variable so then you think okay fine so if at all i assigned a value then that particular variable will always hold that value so that statement is true but there is this one small tricky point which i would like to highlight so assume i'm declaring a const uh, okay uh, sorry const maybe array like one two three okay so this is an array so if i want to print it should work so here you can see one two three okay then what you think okay you may think okay so we already declared an ar ar variable with a const uh, as a one two three array so we cannot change it right so now here i'm saying that uh, arr dot push four okay if we save then we see that uh, array is getting changed so you might think uh, what is the nature of the const here okay so the nature of const is here for arrays and objects okay uh, it will only keep the reference of the array so what is the reference of the array basically this array is there in a memory location so that particular memory location is being assigned to the array so when we push something to that array we are still pushing to the same array which was declared initially so if at all we are trying to change the reference then it will show error so what is that so assume i am saying the const not const okay so array is equals to so here instead of pushing into that old reference i'm reassigning the whole array to the array object so now you can see that um, we get an error okay so the main difference is if you declare a variable with const um, the value will be available on that variable we cannot change it but if it is an array or an object then the reference of that array or object will be available on that particular variable always we cannot change that okay so I think so this is a pretty much difference between varlet and const which I want to convey. So this is the first video right so I'm, not, I'm just going to stop here. Uh, in our next video uh, we will learn about uh, in general programming concepts like uh, yeah so conditional statement loopings arrays and then some array methods and so on okay. So then we will probably progress. So that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching I will see you in the next video. Thank you.